Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to another round of the N Level SS um, papers unpacking. So we are looking today at the 2018 SS SRQ. Um, I think for those of you who have followed the previous videos, um, the tips are pretty much the same. Um, I'm not going to go into great details uh, for this video. You can actually see uh, the specimen paper video where I sort of unpack a bit more about the tips on how to answer both A and B question. Uh, so let's go and unpack straight away um, this particular paper. Now the issue is on citizenship and governance and specifically it talks a little bit about water, the rising demand of water and you can see that um, for Singapore being a very small country, uh, the demand of water is definitely great because we usually would import our water from our neighbouring countries. Now, in this particular question, they ask about how the Singapore government meet the challenge of rising demand of water. So obviously, we're looking at strategies and from this small little diagram below on your left, you could actually see that as a government, you can do two things. You can either raise awareness or you could actually use the punitive measure uh, where you sort of... Um, you know, used your capacity as a government to either have laws or maybe sort of punish people or not really punish, but, you know, make sure that they don't um, do something uh, that would worsen the situation, all right? So this is what we call the circle of influence. We are not looking at individual, obviously. We are not looking at community. We are looking at just government, Okay. Um, and if you look very carefully at how um, an essay question could be answered, it's definitely um, answering the question, okay? Uh, raising awareness, like I said, through public education and campaigns or even now social influences, um, it would be a possible um, strategy. All right. Um, always remember to give the examples. Okay. Um, how would the government use social media or public education to educate Singaporeans on the need to conserve water? And when we educate Singaporeans, what's the impact? Okay. Uh, they will learn to appreciate and not waste water, and the government is able to meet the demand for it, the rising demand. Um, another example, even though in N level you're just supposed to give one. Uh, strategy okay um, you can if you have time or you know if you feel that oh um, you're not confident of your first answer and you want to write another example of what the government could do so besides ra raising awareness the government could use in their capacity uh, to actually come up with um, a very uh, a harder strategy I would say more bolder strategy I would say uh, increase the price of water a more perhaps harsher strategy, all right? And when we make the price of water expensive, uh, people are more cautious. And when they are more cautious, they uh, learn not to waste it. And by not wasting water, the government would be able to meet the rising demand of water because, um, you know, there's like abundant supply or at least even adequate supply. Okay, so this is for the A question. Now, the next question, the extracts, remember extracts are supposed to help you. But for here, if you look, there is the example of the Singapore Police Force and the SEDF. So you can use examples from the extracts provided you give a little bit more information. Um, if you just pick and if you just sort of take the example from the extracts, um, you won't get the marks because it's really given. All right. Uh, remember that part B is always about content knowledge. Now, extracts three talk about the Singapore Armed Forces, as you can see the picture below. Okay, now the question that they ask is how um, this, uh, how would the government maintain order within Singapore and protect Singapore from external threat? So, maintaining order can be divided into two. It can be internal. So, answer the question. All right, give specific examples. All right, and how does it benefit? Um, how does it protect? Uh, the citizens. Okay, so I give a specific example of the Little India riot. Um, and when the SPF and both SCDF were on the ground, uh, they were able to sort of disperse the crowd after the incident. And when this, when this happened, um, people felt a bit more secure. So this is an example of how we protect uh, citizens in Singapore.
Okay. Um, another example would definitely be um, for them to maintain external security. It is the armed forces. Okay. Um, having a very strong army, navy, or air force. Um, enhance Singapore, uh, Singapore's peace um, through deterrence. Deterrence means, uh, you know, um, enemies think twice about attacking our small little island. Another example, um, besides just the hard force or the hard external security, is definitely um, practicing diplomacy uh, through the MFA. MFA stands for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And really the function is to negotiate and to come up with new ways to make friends with all countries in the world okay um, so going back to the question how would these examples answer the question about maintaining um, security of the people living in Singapore um, is definitely when there is collaboration uh, it deters potential enemies from attacking Singapore and at the same time um, if you take the example of MFA it is definitely um, about how there is actually careful negotiation and again uh, to make sure that we are able to have a secure sustainable future okay so I hope uh, this video sort of helped you uh, to unpack a little bit about the 2018 uh, SSN Naval paper.